But the bottom line is, I don't think the question is so much about the awards. The question is, why was Selma the only film that was even in the running with people of color for the award? You know what I mean? I mean, why, why are there not, not just black, brown people, you know what I mean? Asian people, indigenous people, representations that are more than just one voice, just one face, just one gaze. So for me, it's much less about the awards and the accolades, because literally next year, no one cares. Right, I can't even tell you who won the award for whatever three years ago. I don't know. What are the obstacles in the way? The obstacle is systemic. It's, the, it's, it's, it's systemic. It's a system that's been set up in, in a certain way. Times have changed. Ideas have matured. And the system might not have caught up with that or stayed up with that. But you have very conscious people, very you know, liberal people, very progressive people within the academy. I'm a member. I was invited a couple of years ago. My black cinematographer, Bradford Young, was invited this year. There's an attempt, but you know, like I said, it needs to be articulated and followed up on. I think the thing that is challenging is when people talk about it, it should happen, but then there's no follow-up to that. So the hope is with Cheryl Boone Isaacs, who's the new president of the Academy, and some other people there who are really intentional about wanting to see just an opening up. It's not about Selma. Maybe, maybe people just didn't like it, you know what I mean? Maybe they just didn't like it. But it's really more about Selma shouldn't have been the only hope for places of color in you know in 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 this kind of celebration